Yep. Okay. Top knot. Fluffing. Pull the ear back, but not tight. If you want to use straight shears on your standard poodle, I would recommend it. But you're going to start at that line at the corner of the eye and just make your line that you already made with your clipper. And you're going to flip the ear back, fluff, then you're going to grab the ear and pull it just so gently. Don't pull it down really far. You want to feel where the top of the ear is, and that's where you want to set your scissors. And cut everything over that line. Fluff. You can sort of see there's some stuff hanging over the line, but don't panic about that, because then you're going to get that later. Then you just want to do the same thing on the other side. Flip the ear. Flip the ear. Make your line. Flip the ear back. Fluff. Hold the ear, but don't pull it down really far. Again, set your scissors on the top of the ear. Cut. Okay, so side, side, then you go back. Comb everything back. Comb everything back. Pull both the ears forward so they're just out of the way, but not really hard. Then you want to picture a line. From this line that you've already made over the ear, just picture a half a circle and just make your line. This is where curved shears come in a little handier than straight ones. And then I just take anything off that's sort of sticking out below that. And I also make this a little bit of an angle so that I don't have so much to scissor later. and blend it into the neck. And anything sticking out from behind the ears you want to blend that into. You can do that last, but. Okay, so side, side, back, fluff. <laughs> fluff, 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 fluff. Then this is where you do the comb over. Comb everything over on the side. That line that you already made first is gonna help you make this, finish this line up. Just gonna take anything hanging over that line, just cut it off. Okay, fluff. Fluff. Well, <laughs> fluffy. Christy's laughing at me, fluffy. Comb over on the other side. I'm just gonna stay here so I walk around me. So, when you comb over, picture a line going straight up. This is where straight shears would probably be okay, too. Then I just cut everything off over that line. Fluff. <laughs> Fluff. And then I give the head a little shake like that because that's what the dog is going to do. And it'll help you see anything sticking out if you missed anything. You can neaten up your lines a little bit on your sides. Okay. Then I do the top part, the front part. And I use curved shears for that because that'll help set your curve a little bit easier. Okay. Then I fluff it again <laughs> and shake it. Then this is where you just want to round it off. Sometimes you might have a little bit of a cone shape on the top. You just want to round that part off. No cone heads. No cone heads. And that's, you don't usually have to take too much because the stuff that you've done on the side has already set a lot of that and taken a lot of that off. So this is just to sort of 
So you gotta look at it from all the angles. You gotta look at it from a straight. Look at it from the side, see if there's something sticking out. And then blend your neck again if you have to, or anything sticking off, sticking out like this kind of stuff. I just neaten that up and blend that up. Just kind of stuff here. Just to neaten that line up a little bit. Then I want to show you a little trick about the neck. If the dog's got a lot of coat, I did a half inch comb on this dog. Take your curved shears backwards and you can use that to blend that in. This is a little trick that a lady showed me. Works out really nice. And it just softens that line a little bit. And blends in the coat to the neck a little bit. Okay, then I usually shake them up again, see if what they look like, see if anything I missed anything. Hers isn't too bad. Then I just neaten it up, and that's it.